Corporate Misfits, are you ready to build an actual system for your course? Well, today I'm going to be sharing about how you can set up a sales funnel and attract your ideal customers and turn them into raving fans. Sales funnels are highly crucial to make your business sustainable and also to be able to generate revenue 24 seven. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Hello, Corporate Misfits. I'm Brittany Darrington, and if you're new around here, welcome to the Corporate Misfit channel, where we talk all about digital marketing and course creation tutorials for female course creators who wanna build a freedom-bound business and stop trading time for money. Okay, so if you're new to the whole courses or coaching program, and you're really wanting to get started with it, but you don't know where to start, I definitely want you to check out one of my favorite platforms of all time, Kajabi. It's a platform that you can build your online courses, set up pipelines and sales funnels, email marketing, and so much more. The great part is Kajabi continues to expand, now adding in a podcast edition so that you can be able to serve your audience in a way that's unique and amazing. So go ahead and check out some of the resources that I have for you below to help you get started in no time. And also, if you enjoy this video, make sure that you subscribe and give it a thumbs up so that we can provide more and more videos for you. Okay, so in the course creation sprint series, I've been sharing about how you can get started with your course or your coaching program and get that up and running in no time without the overwhelm. So make sure you check out the description to see some of the past episodes within this series. Last time we talked all about how you can use emails within your launch for your program. And that's a really huge part for you to be able to get your sales funnel process going. So today we're gonna to talk all about how you can actually use a sales funnel and how this overall works so that it makes sense and you'll see the bigger picture. Now let's first discuss what is a sales funnel. So a sales funnel is a journey where your ideal customers go on and ultimately you walk them through how to get to your products or services. You wanna give them a rundown of how things work and here's an actual funnel illustration so that you can see what a actual sales funnel is. So basically, if you condense it even more, it's a journey on how to attract and convert and retain your clients. Now, while it may be a broad sense here, Kajabi helps make this really easy by giving you proven pipelines to guide you through how to get your funnel up and going. So I promise you, once you see these pipelines, everything will make sense. And I'll even take you behind the scenes and walk you through some of the pipelines. Now, I wanna take you behind the scenes of Kajabi's pipelines and walk you through how you can create a sales funnel. So first things first, you might be asking, why is it not called sales funnel if it is um, going to walk me through the process? Why is it called pipelines in Kajabi? So pipelines are going to be basically a build out of the journey that you are going to create for your audience, just like a sales funnel. So there are going to be some additional add-ons to help increase your sales, which I'm going to share more about that on our checkout pages. But ultimately, pipelines and sales funnels fall into the same area and arena so please note, you'll see pipelines here in Kajabi. It will not say sales funnel, but I am going to show you how you can add components of a sales funnel to your actual pipelines. So Kajabi provides you with several different types of pipelines that you can work with. You might start off with a freebie, a sales page OVO, or a product launch OVO, or a Zoom launch, or a free book, a coaching program, or just a simple sales page. Now, there are several past um, opt-ins that you can work with or pipelines that you can work with depending on when you joined Kajabi. But here are just a few for you to get started that can help really get you to a place of consistently getting people to your program. So one of the most popular ones that I see um, when people are looking to have people join their course or their program is a Zoom webinar. Zoom webinars help you to, one, provide value and share more about what they are going to ultimately get if they were to join your program. So you're going to share value first, you're gonna teach a little, and then after you're done teaching, you're gonna open up the doors to your program for someone to join and they can learn more about the benefits, how it's going to transform their lives and so much more. So what I'm gonna to do to kind of show you how to utilize the pipelines, I'm going to make my way into the Zoom webinar OVO first. 
And the really great part is Kajabi gives you a preview of what that pipeline is going to look like before you just start creating it. It will help you to see that it's going to start with the registration page, then go to a confirmation page, then have four emails, an event, and then five follow-up emails, and eventually go to a sales page or a checkout. Also, you can come and check out Kenny, who is the founder of Kajabi, and he'll share more about that as well right in that video. So let's go ahead and hit create pipeline and let me walk you through how you can get your sales funnel set up. So once you make it to create your pipeline, you're going to want to plug in your Zoom link and also include the dates of when your webinar is going to start. And then you wanna choose the offer that you are going to ultimately sell at the end so that when you are creating your pipeline, you can have a really smooth transition when you're reviewing your results and your analytics behind the scenes. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks and then generate that pipeline. Now Kajabi has built out the Zoom webinar OVO pipeline. So I can see it starts with my registration page and then it makes it its way down to the actual webinar and the follow-up sequences that will be associated with it. And then the confirmation page that someone would receive immediately after this registration page and then the sales page and the offer checkout. Maybe you're like me where you're already on Kajabi and you have created some amazing pages and you don't want to come back to starting from scratch. Or maybe you have some templates that you might have purchased from us that you can utilize on Kajabi and it can save the day from having to do all this design and trying to figure out where to put things. So if that is the case, you don't necessarily have to utilize the pages that Kajabi provides you. So just in case you already have those pages, what you're going to do is you're going to kind of hover over a spot where you have this line. You're going to go to add page and you can go and grab an existing landing page. So currently I've added in the Emily template webinar registration page. Now I'm going to want to move this because ultimately we don't want this register uh, pay, registration page to trigger whenever someone opts into our pipeline. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to now click reorder. When I click reorder, it's going to have this little shake associated with it. And instead of leaving it underneath this registration page, I'm going to move it above. Now I'm going to hit the word done once I'm finished with it. But now that I know that my registration page is properly associated um, with the pipeline, I'll need to make sure that the form is also associated with this pipeline, but I'm then going to remove this particular page from the actual pipeline. So that's how you can add in your templates if you already have Kajabi or if you purchase any templates um, that you can add in here. Okay, so now that you have your registration page, you're going to want to fill in the blanks. You're going to want to plug in the information about your upcoming event, all that good stuff. But here's the great part. As I've mentioned in one of my training videos within the course creation sprint, Kajabi is going to provide you with some done for you copy that you can literally plug and play and edit and all that good stuff. So what you'll do is you'll click on that area where it says Zoom Webinar OVO and you'll be able to edit the event emails that are associated with your webinar. So you can come and change what's going to be said at the uh, time of registration once someone opts in. You can tell more about your story and some of the teaching points you're going to share. You can also share a customer testimonial and also have some reminders and eventually have the event. And then after the event, have a series of emails that take place in order to help close and get more people into your program. So that's the really great part of this. You can just jump right in and make everything you need in one area. Now, confirmation page, this will appear before um, they actually start receiving the emails. It will appear immediately after the registration page. So even though it's located under the emails, they're both triggering at the same time. So just know that. Then you have your sales page. Again, if you already have one, you can add it in by kind of hovering over this area and putting add page, but you can add in that sales page, add in all of the information about what your program is about, and then you are going to link it to your checkout. Now, one of the things I want to do to kind of walk you through how you can have some upsells on your checkout, as well as have some opportunities to have order bumps and things along those lines, is what you're going to do is you're going to click on the checkout and then we're gonna to go to edit checkout. 
Now, I just grabbed a product, and ultimately, this product probably has nothing to do with the webinar registration page that I have going on up there, but I just wanted to grab some checkouts and, and pages that you can actually see to work with. So this product is $9.97, and ultimately, um, underneath, I want to have a order bump. Now, this order bump allows me to increase my bottom line. So though it's $9.97, I can actually generate more revenue and increase my bottom line by adding a product that might go in, like go along with what I'm offering and be in alignment with that particular product. So as you can see here, what I'm going to do is add in a order bump. And how you do that is by going to the word order bump at the very bottom and then plugging in the copy and also creating a checkout for your order bump at the proper price that it needs to be. Now I'll preview this so you can also see how this order bump can again increase the bottom line. So let's take a look at this actual page. Okay, so now we're on the page and now what I wanna do is I wanna walk you through how you'll add this order bump uh, or add the order bump if you were a customer. So ultimately, if there's any coupons, all that good stuff, all the information that you'll need to plug in, if they're paying PayPal, card, all that stuff. But then at the very bottom, if you have a order bump and some information about what this order bump is about, then what you can do is click on, yes, I would like to add a Bella lead magnet marketing tool to my page. Well, ultimately it will then add in the price um, and you're able to see that it's $17, one-time payment, say 40%. And now it is, has increased my bottom line instead of $9.97, it has increased it to $1,014. So this is how you can build upon your pipeline and create a funnel that allows you to generate more than just one sale. Now, another thing that you can do on your checkout is when you are looking to identify what's going to be best for your audience as they go through this journey, you can add things along the lines of a upsell. So for example, if someone were to purchase our Bella template, one of our upsells is that they can actually um, get access to the Bella portal at a special price that we do not offer on the website. This checkout is going to eventually link to your upsell product where you can have a title, you can have some subtext, you can have descriptions of what it is, and then also you can have like a yes, I want this portal, or no, I don't want this, I'm not ready for this yet. And you can even include a video if you'd like, or if you want to include an image, you're able to do that as well. So once you have that going, then what you'll do is you can preview your actual page, see what it looks like, and this will be the page that someone receives immediately after they check out. So now you can see the actual product. So ultimately, this is going to show after someone opts in or purchases your product. You can see we have the title, we have a little video to kind of showcase what this is. We have the pricing that's associated and then a description. And then if for any reason someone's like, no, thank you, I don't want this, it will then take them to the library. And if they do want that, then it will just automatically charge the card that they just recently used on their actual uh, checkout, whether it was PayPal or whatever it may be, it will go ahead and charge that card. So it's a really great way for you to increase your bottom line and also provide products that are going to be in alignment with your ideal customer, allowing them to get the most out of the services and products that you offer. Okay, so once you have your person through checkout and all that good stuff, you are then going to start sending them through your actual program and taking them to your library. So for example, once they are in, they're then going to be able to start seeing the different things like your thank you page. They're gonna be able to start accessing their, their actual programs and coaching and all that good stuff. And now you have a complete funnel that walks your customers from A to Z to get into your program. Now, in order for you to fully understand what kind of funnel will fit best for your course or your business, I've created a five funnels that every coach and course creator needs to help break down the process so that you know which funnel will work best for you. All you have to do is download that PDF below and you can get access to sales funnels that you might need within your business. You can do this corporate misfit. I can't wait to see all the things that you create and make sure you leave a comment letting me know how your launch emails are going. Okay, corporate misfits, I will see you in the next video and thank you so much.